Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika in with this week's edition of Fuck Shit Friday, honey. This is the video of the week where we come in and discuss trending topics that have been in the blogs on or out there in the in the universe. We we may hit politics sometimes. Sometimes we just stick to um celebrity commentary and, and gossip. And, you know, sometime every now and again, I, do, I switch it up, girl. This is just a video of the week where I come in and weigh in my thoughts and opinion. Nothing I say is written in stone. You don't have to agree with me. In fact, as long as you do it respectfully, I open up my panty section, a.k.a. comments, for you to go down there and, and, and run it with me, girl. I do it with y'all every week that I possibly can. I have been absent from the roll call, and I am now back to do this week's edition of Fuck Shit Friday. Now, I got Black Ink Crew Chicago also uploading right now as we speak. Um, in that video, I explained that I'm actually recording this stuff all over again. These videos were recorded this morning, and the only be and Black Ink Crew was supposed to say it came out around noontime, but something happened, and the file corrupted. And it didn't release. And my son was too lazy to just upload this video. At least this would have been uploaded already. Child, I don't know. You know how these ninjas get when I think that income tax come through. You know, mine ain't came through. So I ain't acting brand new yet. But, you know, I think he is dead. Anyway, I also explained over there that, you know, um, I will be uploading a video tonight over on my Evolution Anika channel. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do have a second channel that I dedicate mostly to talking about, well, all the way dedicated to uh, talking about autoimmune uh, deficiencies, diseases. I mainly focus on lupus because being a lupus survivor myself, I, I share a lot of the information that comes to me. And I want to do a video today over there telling y'all about uh, some stuff dealing with the medicine called Plaquenil. So if you want to hear about that, I will link it down in my more info box. You can go over there and catch me over on that channel. Go ahead and subscribe because I will be putting more content over there uh, in the coming weeks. I also will be touching down in my Patreon. I'm coming to the Queen's Castle over there on the Patreon to talk with my love things. Um, I'll do a video over there for y'all as well tonight. But I wanted to come in and get this done because tomorrow I will not be on the YouTube streets. I may dip in here and there if someone goes live or whatever. But I won't be, you know, y'all won't see my footprints out here until, again, probably Saturday or Sunday when I come in and do Friday Night's Love After Lockup. But uh, my twin brother and sister's 43rd birthday was last weekend on the 23rd. And um, my spirits wasn't right to enjoy that with them. So this weekend, me and my sister and my brother, we going to, you know, act like we uh 16 again and have us a Wayne Dang do love a time uh with one another. We're gonna love on each other. So that's why you're getting um the the top trending topics video that normally would have come out tomorrow. You're getting it tonight and I hope you enjoy it, child. Now let's move on to the topics, girl, because we got some stuff to talk about. Y'all seen that doll, right? That doll that child that dog right up there with Annabelle or Annabelle. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Parents beware. Baby, I wish Jalen would. Ooh, try me. Now, Colton is only nine months old, so I, I pretty much can dictate and, and monitor what we put on for him. He don't do nothing but his baby senses on YouTube. But that Jalen, he likes YouTube, and I am so glad that this situation came to light because it's something that needs to be discussed. Now, I, I I didn't know about it right off the way, right? I didn't know about it right off the way, but baby, when I became aware about this Momo doll, I was I was... Girl, I was messed up behind it. I ain't lying. I was really messed up. I'm trying to find out where all my damn notes said, okay? Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, that Momo doll. Now, what's supposed to happen, according to what I was told, is that the you go on Facebook or the what's uh, app number, you text this number, and this doll pops up and gives you instructions, different challenges, if you will, that you're supposed to do. And we have come to find now that these challenges sometimes can be quite harmful to the child. Now, it hadn't made light to this lady was on the news saying that her 14-year-old was contemplating suicide suicide because some of these instructions or challenges that this Momo doll has them doing. I, I was just, I, girl, that just made me scared, okay? Oh, that doll, the way that doll, that doll look corrupt as hell, okay? I don't see how that doll is appealing to kids, but for some reason, it is. And I just, I don't know what to say. All I can say is, parents, please beware. Pay attention to what your youngins are watching. Don't leave your children to their own devices and allow these electronic devices to raise your child because you busy trying to do other things. Being a parent is a hard and challenging job. Lord knows I know. Family, I feel like I ain't going to never stop raising children because I done raised my four eggs and now I'm working on helping my eggs raise their eggs. So, and they, I'm a very, very, very active grandma. I mean, child, my presence is known and requested a whole lot of time. But you got to pay attention to what your children ain't taking because this is this dangerous. This is totally dangerous, you know. <laughs> That thing that went viral, baby, is being talked about everywhere. So, again, I'm, I'm telling y'all, please beware of what your children are doing online. Because you don't know what kind of negative influences may be trying to seep in and mess up your whole child's life. Or give him or her ideals of doing things that could end their life. Be careful of what your children are, you know, taking in when they dealing with these social media sites, devices, all of that. These electronic devices. See, I come from the era of where we didn't have, you know, we had a TV and everything. But for one, shit, I think I was about nine before we got cable. And then my mama was very selective about what we were able to watch. She did not allow us to sit up and watch TV every damn day when we get out of school. TV really was reserved for the weekends. Now, my grandmother, she loved me a lot. I was the favorite. So I used to be able to get up and watch shows with her and stuff, you know. That's why I can tell y'all about the Dukes of Hazzard, Dynasty, Nazland, and Falcon Chris. You know, that's why I know about all them nighttime TV shows is because my grandma used to let me sneak up in there and watch them with her while my mama be at work. But really, we, we only got to watch TV on Saturdays, really, is when she really just let us sit down and relax and watch a whole show. And she was mindful of what we watched. We went outside, child. It wasn't no go and get on YouTube and see what's going on. It wasn't no go get on no WhatsApp or no Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, or none of that other stuff that they do. Snap or chat, whatever the hell that is, you know. I, I don't know so much about Snapchat. I ain't never had one. My daughter asked me not to get one when I started joining social media. And I guess since, you know, I had, I be child. I respected it. I ain't never get on the social, uh, the Snapchat or whatever it is. But I ain't heard about it. Be careful with your children and taking family. Because you never know what influences are out there that could corrupt your child. And how, I'm still going to say, I don't know how kids are attracted to that dog. Because that dog look, ooh, that dog looks scary. That dog look corrupt as hell. I would never when I was growing up, have ever been attracted to listening to anything that thing said. In fact, I probably would have been having nightmares and my mama would have found out about it or my uh, auntie after my mother had passed away. Be careful what your children is watching, children. Please, please. Child, they indicted R. Kelly last Friday. He went and turned himself in. He was indicted on 10 counts of criminal sexual abuse. He spent the weekend in jail, although he did receive a bond on Saturday morning of $1 million. He didn't actually bond out until that Monday. And child social media was in a damn frenzy. Social media was in a frenzy, baby. They found out this lady had 
put her name on that bonding paper, baby, they found out who she was. She is a restaurant owner and daycare owner from what I was able to find out by the name of Valencia Love. She actually met R. Kelly a few months ago on a cruise, and apparently they are good friends, and she said that it wasn't her money that she used, but her friend said he was innocent, and she's going to stand by him until he is proves, proven otherwise, okay? She she said, girl, they, they, they weren't letting that lady live, child. They went and dug up, found out this woman had won, won a wrongful law, uh, death lawsuit from her daughter, Dying a couple of months ago or years ago. I don't know the, the, the time frame. But girl, they said that lady had bought him out with her wrong for soup money. Now, <laughs> I don't know. Girl, I don't know. All I do know is don't harass that lady. That's, that's not right. Because if you feel, if you knew him and you he told you y'all was friends. And y'all built this little bond over the last couple of months. And your friend tell you that they innocent. You gone kind of like, you know, because that's your friend and you think you know that person's character. <clears throat> Some people will go that far for you. I'm not, oh, I, I can't say, child, I done did it before, okay? I put my name on an old nasty piece of bond before. I have. I put my name on a, a bond before, child. Because that was my friend. Now, it wasn't on a situation as big as this, but I have. And I don't think that it's fair whether she paid the money or not for social media, people on social media, to harass this woman and to judge her. Y'all act like her bonding that, late, that man out of jail meant that he was walking free yet again to offend if you feel that he's offended anybody. No, his ass got to go to trial, bitch. He about to go to trial. And I, the way it's looking, I ain't as positive about as you know as, as I kind of figured that last time he was gonna get off because for one he had he was able to throw that case off before going to trial for what by five or six years. Child out of sight, out of mind, and money talk bullshit around the marathon. Okay. This time, the way things are, are, uh, are building up on social media every day, this man is in the headlines. More and more people coming out talking. I, I don't know that he going to be able to. He going to have to really prove some things. And, and I'm, I'm not certain that he's going to be able to do it. So stop harassing Miss Valencia Love for only doing what somebody else or him was going to do anyway. Is it a, a miscarriage of justice? I mean, uh, uh, is she is she not um, um, entitled to believe her friend? And let me sh let me slow it down because I don't want y'all to get in your feels and get to thinking I'm saying nothing. I ain't saying what I'm saying is if you're somebody's friend and you honestly believe that your friend is a a, a you know telling you that they are not guilty of a crime. And they actually put your name on there and they ain't your coin. Why do we why are we harassing her? This man gotta go before a trial. This man gonna be tried again. But a few years after he what this was in two, 2008, now here it is 2019. This might probably actually be tried in 2020. Let you know. Let let the law of the land do what it is they need to do. If Miss Valencia didn't bond him out, somebody was. Because they told me, child, that y'all tried to start a GoFundMe for the man. Now, I wouldn't really, I wasn't finna put down one of my coins on no damn bond. I'm not. And some of y'all know what I've said in the past and told y'all about how I feel about R. Kelly, my relationship, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We had that little conversation down here before. And I done showed y'all, I done told y'all some things that came to pass, proving that I, I'm not, you know, I'm not sitting here just saying some shit out the side of my ass, okay? What I'm saying is, the man got to go before a, a, a trial. They going to try him again. So, if you feel like that this man deserves to go down this time, then let all of the people who has been offended by him show up and show out in their courtroom. 
and let the trial uh the let him be you know judged by the court of law and not the court of public opinion although the court of public opinion eating that ass up every day especially that lawyer michael Avenatti, baby he he making sure that this nigga ain't gonna find no damn impartial trial or jury he not in not not, not in chicago he ain't i don't i don't see it child i think they might have to move that thing because but where he gonna go because his reputation had been tainted everywhere. But the bottom line is he got to face judgment in, in the court of law. And if by some happenstance he happens to get out of this yet again, and he's still going to have to be tried by the judge of all judges. And what that man will put on him is way worse than anything that the, the trial, you know, the, the prison system could do to him. Just let it play out. Let all the people that feel that have said that they have been hurt by him come to court and say what they got to say. I'm not saying he guilty or innocent. I'm saying let's be fair. We are not a, 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 a we not a, a ram. What, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? We are not a society where people just run. We, we are ruled by a, dem we are a democracy, okay? It ain't no dictatorship. It's a democracy. And we have, we have guidelines that each and every one of us have to abide by. And he is now been indicted on them 10 counts. We're going to see what's going to come of this because he's going to have to take his ass to trial, girl. And if it turns out, that he was the monster that people been saying for years, then he will have to go to prison just like they have done Bill Cosby. He might as well put child, if he wrong, he might as well concentrate on not dropping the soap. That's all I can say about that. But leave that lady alone because all she did was put her, her John Hancock on a bond. If she didn't do it, somebody else was going to do it. I keep telling y'all, poor people broke don't look like rich people broke. This is Rapper T.I. sister Precious Harris passed away on the 22nd following a car accident. I ain't going to go too deep into that. I do remember seeing her, you know, on the, the family hustle uh, and the... Uh, what the, ain't that what it's called, the family hustle? But, child, I remember seeing her on that. She acted more like a grandmother to them kids than she did a uh, auntie. And you can tell that she had a very, she had like a patriarchal role in that family from what I've seen. So, I know that, you know, I think she only got one daughter. I think I've seen her on Instagram, Kamaya or something like that. But, um... I, my condolences to T.I. and his family on the loss of his sister, uh, Precious Harris. Child, the Oscars came on Sunday. Did y'all watch? And they ain't had no whole season. From what I heard, it seemed like it worked out just fine. That's what the people said. And I hadn't seen a few clips, but it seemed like it was pretty entertaining. I, I kind of hate I didn't. I tuned out. Now, I was pleasant. I was pleasantly surprised. You can't say Oscar so white this year like they have been saying in previous years because child, the Oscar said, "Look him, I ain't for you ninjas." And y'all tweets the next day, baby, they did some blending. Now they started that Oscar so black. I ain't gonna go that dog on far with it. But I will say that it was nice to see in the clips that I view people of color, you know, being integrated into that because there are people of color who work very hard within this industry and they deserve to be recognized for their work. Who want to work a job for however long they've been working in some of them actors and actresses and never be recognized? They want they just desserts too, so I feel that they should get it. Child, we had some black runners too. The one stuck out my head was Ruth Carter. She got one for costume design for Black Panther. Peter Ramsey, his work on Spider-Man, Mahershala Ali, he got Best Supporting Actor in Green Book. But didn't he win last year for, uh, what that movie called? Um, oh, Lord, I got a brain for, I think it's Moonlight. Y'all, get me together down in the pan and get me together. Didn't he win an Oscar last year, Mahershala Ali, for his role in Moonlight? 
Girl, I don't know. I think I'm lying, but I ain't lying on purpose. Y'all put it in the pen and let me know. Regina King, Best Supporting Actress in If Bill Street Could Talk. That made me very happy because I feel like they had been, that lady been observing, uh, deserving of an Oscar for a while. And finally, baby, Scott, uh, Spike Lee got his, his Oscar. They gave it to him, baby. And, uh, they had been looking over that man for years. He should have been got an Oscar if you ask me, but... He did win his Oscar this past Sunday, and I and Spike was elated because he know what it means to win an Oscar in that industry. It don't matter what he done said in the past. You see what he did, didn't And now I'm, I'm not mad at him. Congrats to all the winners. There were more black ones, but I talked about the ones that stuck out to me, but congratulations across the board. Uh, baby, did Billy Porter not uh, shake the table when he showed up in his, his tuxedo gown? I said, bitch, come through. Bitch, come through. Y'all know I'm a supporter of the LGBT community. You know, I got eggs involved. And so, girl, I was here for it. It did not offend me at all. I said, yes, God, baby. Live your best good life, okay? Stunt on the kids for the night. I was here for it. Yes, God. Yes, God, I was, y'all. I really was. Now, <sighs> child. Let me go on, on over here and address this situation here. First, the new YouTube guidelines. Y'all, we must be mindful of our speech, okay? They they done put the child trying to take away our freedom of speech, you know. They don't really want us doing too much cussing down up on the on the platform or down in the comments and, and, and in the chats or the live stream. So that's not something that I feel like I really need to address because most of my love things, y'all don't do that. Y'all don't say, hell, I'm about the most vulgar shit on the damn channel because y'all know I tend every now and again to, you know, say a cuss word or two or three. I'm still, you don't trip. God ain't through with me yet. But sometimes when I'm giving my commentary, MF is a, that's a good way to, to uh, Charlie just what did what did uh uh what his name was what did Bernie Mac tell you? It's a pronoun. <laughs> and sometimes a cuss word at the end of your statement brings it full circle. Sometimes a cuss word help you understand what a person really is saying. So I tends to be that girl sometimes. But I, I need to stop it because my vocabulary is bigger than that. You know, they always say, so I always say when your person cuss all the time, that means their vocabulary is limited. Hell no, nah, I cuss because it feel good and that's what I do. I don't like carrying them because, you know, stress kill, especially, uh, you know, see, I got to watch myself. I almost said stress kill or be like me. But, girl, it will. It'll get the lupus to back that activating. And, girl, it'll take a whole uh, It'll take me out, girl. It'll take me out. Okay? It'll take me out. So, I sometimes when I use an explicitive or two, it get my point across the way I want it to get it across. And when I'm in my feelings, it does it even better. It's a stress reliever. But you two say they don't want us doing all of that down here now. And, you know, they already got their asses on the fire because... Or that Momo challenge thing that they was letting be streamed on eight day services and stuff. So we just got to be mindful of what we say. I try to keep it PG 13 anyway. Sometimes I go a little rated all, but I give you a warning it's about to happen. So if your little children or something just happen to be sitting around listening to you and, and, and you know, listening to me you know, via you, you got a chance to scoot the little ones out of here because I never told y'all this was a family show. It ain't. This is adult content. <laughs> but we have to be more careful. Got to be more careful. <clears throat> How y'all feel about the new YouTube right guidelines and and the strike system for the content creators that watch my channel? What y'all think about the uh, guidelines on the strikes and all of that? Y'all, let me tell you something. I try to respect people as much as I possibly can on my platform. I don't like talking about colleagues no damn way. So I don't enjoy, you know, I, I'm not a person that's going to feel limited because I cannot, you know, say certain things 
on YouTube because the only time I really use my mouth on in a harsh way is if I'm talking about celebrities. I don't feel that I have, you know, I need to be on here down in my colleagues because you ain't no better than me and I ain't no better than you. The only thing that separates us is numbers. And everybody, if you keep working on it, you'll get there. So, you know. Let me know for content creators how that make you feel. Subscribers, let me know how that made you feel to hear about these new guidelines here on YouTube. Now, somebody asked me a couple of days ago. They wanted me to talk about this Jordan Woods, Tristan Thomas, Khloe Kardashian bullshit. Because she's supposed to be, you know, going on the Red Table Talk Friday with uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. I found out in my damn research that she's close with the Smith family. I think Will is like her goddad or some stuff like that. Child, I'm, I'm sick of this, this whole situation, to be honest with you. Because l- let me just break it down to you. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I don't need nothing for this here. Okay, I'll pick this back up when I need it. I can run, I can, I do better when I, I do it off the dome and don't refer to notes. Look, if you 22 and up, you were 21 one time. Meaning that you were legal, but looking back on 21, were you really grown? Was your morals that you have today those same morals you had back when you was 21 years old? Just finding out who you is, just coming into your womanhood. Do you remember that time? Although I feel that if this girl laid up with Tristan Thompson, Chloe's baby daddy slash man, even though some people have told me that... They were broke up. At any rate, it still didn't look good because you friends with this girl and her family. You were wrong. But, I don't feel that it's okay to throw this girl away and, and bully her in a sense. The way she has been getting bullied by Chloe. That Malika girl. And they Kim good, her sister. And some other folks. I don't think that's fair. I'm glad she's going on the red table so she can sit down and give her side of the story. Now, some people had asked me, like, on social media, girl, do you think she's really going to be able to tell, you know, everything she may want to say? Because it's to my understanding that this girl and any close friends of of associates of the Kardashian family have to sign an NDA not to discuss things about them uh, that they may witness. Now, child, let me tell you, that kind of took me all the way back. I tripped because, I I mean, I don't never want to be so famous that I got to get my friends to sign NDAs. For one, I don't ever let my left hand know what I, my right hand finna do anyway. And two... What am I doing around my friends that I need to silence them in case they want to talk? They kind of threw me, girl. Did it throw you? An NDA of all all they friends got to sign that in order to kick it? Girl, I wouldn't be kicking it. It ain't because I want to uh, be able to be free to talk about anything I see later on. It's because, girl, I simply just don't. I don't want to be involved if it's potential that you're going to do some shit. That you don't want me talking about it, nine times out of ten, some of it might be illegal. So I don't want no parts of that. My point is, let this girl go on here and say her side of the story. But do I think that this is a young girl that we need to just throw away? No, I don't. She made a mistake. It was an old nasty piece of mistake. She is catching it right now. Because all these women got these huge platforms and they saying little snide things at her. And you know how it is. Like I told you, it's just like down here on the YouTube. We will have subscribers who get so vested in us. They literally will go on in attack mode for us. 
Now, I ask that each and every one of my true love things don't ever go to nobody's platform and mess with them, attack them, talk crazy to them. Don't do none of that because you feel like they did something to me. Whatever it is that they say about me, let that be a private affair between them and God because trust, I didn't watch. It's not my business how you feel about me. That's your damn problem. My pro my what I'm supposed to do is come over here and do the best I can to act responsibly on a platform that I have worked very hard to build for myself. Now, if when I need to say something, I say something. But I say something and I keep it moving. I don't think that this girl should be dogged the way that they they trying to dog her. Because, I mean, truth be told, what you put into the atmosphere is what you get back. This ain't nothing but them Kardashians getting back what they get put out before. Was not Kim and uh, um, um, Amber Rose Gold Pro, wasn't they friends, and now Kim is married to Kanye? One Black China cool with them people and her sister Kylie started fucking her baby daddy Tigger. Tiger, whatever the fuck his name is. Y'all, ooh, I'm cussing. Y'all know what I mean. Then that, did, I mean, and it, it's other ones. Cloyd and did some drunk too. Now don't get me wrong, family. I understand that Chloe hurt. Maybe the woman that you took her man from her might be her too, girl, when you did too. The same way you get them is the same way you lose them. And what kills me is, as I'm perusing down these internet streets, I'm noticing that they killing that girl. Did y'all forget it take two to tango? Why y'all ain't dragging the hell out of Tristan? That's the real culprit right there. Because he just don't give a dog on, baby. He out here. Every time I turn around, he getting busted. Did he not just get busted not too long ago? Messing around on Chloe. And I'm not finna get that invested. Because how we know this ain't a build up for this dog on show that they have. That don't never seem like it's ever gonna get canceled. This could be a storyline. They admitted that they do stuff to beef up ratings. But is it fair? I don't think so. Now, what she did again for the one slow in the back, she was wrong. But let her tell her side of the story. She's going through her karma for doing something like that to a friend. But don't throw this girl away. Because what if we was held accountable today, times 20, for the mistakes that we made at 21? How many of y'all could stay in the rain? She got thousands of people on her back. And I just don't think that it's fair. So, that's how I feel about this situation. To me, this ain't nothing but the chickens coming home to roost for the Kardashians. Because they all have done some grimy things to get with the men that they have gotten with in the past. They not like no elite wholesome girls that just want to do right and say the word. These some girls that have appropriated the hell out of black culture and used it to make millions and millions of dollars off of it. From how they look to their own individual brands that they have come out with. That's how I feel about it. I ain't throwing that child away over there. Things happen and it is what it is. And Malika, yes, you did own what you did when you messed around with a married man. And we drug you, but we allowed you to live. Let that girl live. Mm-hmm. I talked about the Momo Challenge. Jesse Smollett. <clears throat> I'm looking at the time. I don't want it to go too long. All I can say is based on what I'm hearing, some people saying that this is a setup by the Chicago Police Department. The only problem I have with believing that he is possibly being set up to look like he set this whole uh, hate assault thing up against himself is the fact that the Chicago Police Department didn't call him. He called them. So why would they want to set him up? I don't know what really happened but right now in my heart of hearts i'm disappointed because i don't understand what this why would you do this 
I don't, I, I, I hear them saying that he may have a, a issue with the Molly. But girl, still, why? You did all this for a pay raise? And now they cutting your ass out of scenes? Was it worth it is the question of the day. I'm disappointed. Because I wanted to believe him. And now he has cast a stain on this situation to where, what about the next man that may actually be assaulted and have racial slurs and homophobic slurs uh, uh, said to them while they being assaulted? What if, Are people going to instantly believe them now? Are they going to look at them like, mm-hmm? Again, that's people not understanding the power they platform. When you start realizing how important your platform is, and whether you got 8,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000, we have a responsibility when you get a platform of at least, when I say it, I feel like you really still show, start showing, showing some reserve when you get to 500. But, you know, when you really get up there in them thousand and you got people looking at you all the time, girl, you need to, you need to pull back. And think about what it is that you're doing. And again, get help if you need it. Now, that's all I feel about that. Now, y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all know I always like to end my, um, okay, Janet Jackson got a Las Vegas resident at the Park MGM. It's called the Metaphor Metamorphosis, celebrating the, I think, out of the 20th or 20th fifth anniversary of Rhythm Nation. She got 15 shows booked already and they could be handling more or uh, adding more. Congratulations to you, Janet Jackson. Go ahead, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Um, last thing I want to talk about is y'all know that, you know, one thing I used to always do a lot on my channel is shout, pe shout people out. And it was this one lady came to me a couple of, about a week or so ago and she asked me, um, if I want, if I didn't mind, you know, what were my fees to advertise her channel? I do not, I would never charge anybody that I find to be good at doing this YouTube vlog thing. I would never charge you for your, uh, for asking me for a shout out. I wouldn't. And baby, let me tell you, I went over there to Miss AMSR Renee. Now them three E's in Renee, it's threes. You know how they turn it around? Yeah. I'm going to link her down in my more info box. When I tell you I watched her and I subbed her immediately because my spirit said, yeah. And baby, stay positive and stay stay uh, relatable. That's the one thing that you do. Stay relatable. You keep it real with these people. These people going to keep it real with you. Now, you will have people who will try your spirit. But that come with any platform. You know what to do. We have a block and a delete. And if it get too much, you can report that page. Okay? That's if they bother you. Not to be malicious. But that ain't what I got from you. I went over there and, baby, Miss Thane said she worked overnight. Girl, that'll kill me now. Renee, that would kill me now, girl. Back in my younger years, prior to lupus, I probably would have liked to do an overnight shift because uh, it would help me, you know, less traffic at night and got work so hard. I don't work hard now. I work smart. Mm-hmm. Renee, that live button ain't for me either, girl. I feel you. A lot of people think that, you know, going live is the thing to do. That's not what I came from. I came from the era where we... Um, we we did our pre-recorded videos. We uploaded and we conversated with you down in the um, panic section. If live was available, it wasn't available to me back then because, hell, I ain't never see it. It's not my thing. A lot of people ask me why I go live. They, they I've heard that it's good for super chats and everything else. First of all, if I've always felt like if somebody want to donate to me, y'all know how to get hold of me in that description box. I have my Cash App. I got my PayPal. And if you really into me that bad, join the Patreon. Or if you ain't able to do any of that, just subscribe to both of my channels and watch my videos. That's all. I don't like live like that. I will never. See, I got a life. And my life don't fit in with being live two and three hours a couple of days a week or every day. I can't do that. I got stuff to do. And I just don't do lives a lot. But I will tell you, Renee, lives will help you build up your audience a little quicker from what I'm seeing. It will help you. 
but stay relatable. Stay talking about what it is that you like. And I'm asking each and every one of my love things because as we go into this women empowerment, this is part of women empowerment, is knowing how to shout each other out and help each other grow. I'm going to link Miss AMSR Renee's channel down in my description box. Y'all go over there and check out a couple of her videos. You know, I ain't saying just the first one just going to grab you. Watch a couple of her videos and make a decision as to whether or not you would like to support her. And if you do, please hit the subscribe button. And you can even let her know that latest Nika sent you over there. I like your content, Ms. Renee. You seem relatable. And I would love to help you in any way that I can build your channel up because somebody once helped me. And no matter what happened, I'll never forget that. I received a lot of love on these streets. I have since then received a whole lot of more love. And I love each and every one of y'all. This is all I ever want to do is just enjoy my YouTube. That's all. And an opportunity to grow without the ridicule. That's all I ever wanted. So I will link Miss Renee down in the description box. As always, y'all remember the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video wherever it is you share videos. And I will see you guys back on either Sunday night or I'll see you Monday, honey. I'm out of this thing. Peace. Oh, I'll probably come through and do love after lockup. I might do that on a spreaker. I'm, I'm, I got you. But I ain't coming tomorrow, though. I ain't coming tomorrow. I'll be on the YouTube streets checking out some people I like in between my uh, party time with my family. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank you so much. Everybody that has joined the channel, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It ain't never about a coin. If you just give me a chance, I'll make that coin. I don't need, I don't need all that extra. I just wanted an opportunity. And if a coin is made, it's made. But that's what I, that was the most important thing to me, was just having a chance to feel free and to feel loved. And y'all gave it to me. And I'm out. Peace.